Hey guys, this is Eugenio Suarez right now. I'm very excited. Big win, big walk off armor. See you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the night. A. Eugenio Suarez is the poster child for good vibes only. Ever since joining Seattle in the offseason via trade, whether it's on the field, in the dugout, or during interviews, you can see the effect that Suarez's good vibes bring to the team, and it really is contagious. I don't think about, I don't think about bad vibes, about bad things. I just, you know, I'm always looking forward to, to the next season, and, and that's what I think of right now. I you know, feel very comfortable here, and, and see, I can't wait to start the season to see what happens. And there's a reason I put this clip at the end of all my videos. All right, guys, good vibes only. Don't forget it. It's all about those good vibes. Baseball is an incredibly difficult sport. In over a 162 game season, you have to try to focus on the positives. And you'll find that the players that perform the best are the ones that can quickly move on from an at bat or a defensive play and focus on the next opportunity that they have. You gotta stay confident. You gotta try to find any positive you can on a daily basis. So to have someone on the Mariners that's so positive and upbeat like A. Eugenio, I can only imagine the positive effect that it could have on a clubhouse, especially for a young team like the Mariners that are looking to do big things. Suarez began his career with the Detroit Tigers after signing as an amateur free agent in 2008 at the age of 17. Suarez made his MLB debut in 2014 at the age of 22 and would go on to play 85 games for the Tigers that year. That offseason, the Tigers would trade Suarez and minor league pitcher Jonathan Crawford to the Cincinnati Reds for starting pitcher Alfredo Simone. Suarez would spend seven years in Cincinnati and although he came up as a shortstop prospect, the Reds transitioned Suarez to third base early on in his career, and he'd wind up making the all-star team in 2018. And then, during spring training of 2022, Gino was traded alongside Jesse Winker to the Seattle Mariners in exchange for major leaguers Justin Dunn and Jake Fraley, as well as pitching prospects Brandon Williamson and Connor Phillips. Suarez would end up filling a needed hole for the Mariners at third base, as headed into the 2022 season, the Mariners declined Kyle Seager's team option, and when comparing their stats, A. Eugenio Suarez and Kyle Seager were very similar fielding-wise, both right around league average, while A. Eugenio had the higher upside with the bat, and the Mariners were buying on Suarez after a down year. In 2018 and 2019, Suarez put up some serious numbers. In 2018, the year that he made the All-Star game, he batted 283 with 34 homers, 104 RBIs, with an 892 OPS. And in 2019, he ended up hitting 49 home runs with 103 RBIs to go along with a 271 batting average and a 930 OPS. In both of these years, his OPS Plus was above 130, meaning that his bat in total was about 30% or more above league average. And in 2019, while his bat was technically above average, Suarez managed to lead the MLB in strikeouts with 189 strikeouts in 159 games. Moving into 2020, Suarez's bat cooled off a bit as he batted 202 for the season, but still managed to hit 15 home runs in that shortened season. In 2021, Suarez had another down year, hitting 198, but still had 31 home runs with 79 RBIs, and finished with a 713 OPS, which was his lowest on base plus slugging since his rookie year back in 2014. As I mentioned earlier, some of his down year in 2021 might have been due to him splitting time at third base and shortstop, as he was well below average in the field at shortstop in 2021, and when you're not performing in the field, it can definitely carry over into your plate appearances. With the Reds deciding to tear things down before the 2022 season, Jerry Depoto and the Mariners decided to take advantage of this, and after the Reds already traded Sonny Gray to the Twins and lost Wade Miley on waivers, the Mariners moved to get both Jesse Winker, who was an all-star the year before, as well as Suarez, who was a buy-low opportunity and a contract that the Reds were wanting to get off their books. Believe it or not, A. Eugenio Suarez has the most home runs in the MLB since 2018, which of course is a bit of a cherry-picked stat, as during this span, Aaron Judge is now two home runs behind Suarez, However, Aaron Judge has played 117 fewer games and Pete Alonso 133 fewer games during this span. But still, it does show the power that Gino has and it can be a big plus to have that type of power in your lineup. Bobby, well, I mean, just how does it feel to be on, on this new team here, the Seattle Mariners for you? All right, man, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so glad they gave me the opportunity to come here to help the team. You know, my first two, three days here. 
it's pretty, you know, impressive. I like the way we work, and I love it. I love to work. I love for the the energy, the vice, and that you know we we are together from the beginning. So that's that's. I mean, I come here for that. To, you know like help the team to win the game. And that is our vision. That's our mentality right now. So we feel so good together. And man, I can't wait to to, to see, uh, I mean, I can't wait to, to start the season. So far through 121 games played, Eugenio is batting 227 with 22 home runs, 69 RBIs, and an OPS plus of 123. His glove has also bounced back as he's been playing a little above league average at third base. And although he's currently leading the MLB in strikeouts and on pace to set a career high in strikeouts, he's had some big at bats and has hit some clutch home runs. Really tough pitches on the corners. Suarez in the air, left field. Will it stay fair? Goodbye, only. That'll do it for this video. Please let me know in the comments below who you'd like a player profile video made on, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, goodbye, Zondi. Don't forget it. Stop it.